Virgo. What's the word, yo? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you. For February 2021, baby, we're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. If there is anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me or send some love and support to my page go ahead and check out the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives my amazon wish list where you guys can check out a lot of cool things to help support my page um it gives you the booking instructions connect with me on instagram messenger if you do not have instagram messenger to send me a personal private message for your booking email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com i'll help get you all set up so that we can um take care of the reading okay Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. We are in the building. You already know what it is, baby. We're here to find out what the word is with you for February. We're going to always give Father God, the creator, the universe, or whatever you want to call him, praise and thanks for just bringing us where we are today. So bow your heads with me in prayer. Father God, thank you so much for collectively gathering us here today. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Father God, for all of the continuous blessings that you continue to pour down on Virgo. Father God, thank you so much for all the encouragement that you give us every day. Thank you so much for teaching us how to love ourselves and how to reach further inside ourselves and pull out all of those beautiful qualities, all those beautiful skills, all of that beautiful stuff that we didn't even know about ourselves that just makes us love love ourselves and help us continue to grow and just be passionate and determined towards all of our greatness and blessings that you have for us in the future father god we're going to keep on high stepping in the name of jesus father god because they don't know our story but they're going to see our glory father god listen they have yet to see what a true winner is father god i'm about to show you father god thank you for just showing us how beautiful we are so when we look in that mirror every day when we step out of the shower. We look at a person that we're proud of. And that's the most important blessing that anyone could ever receive. Because if you can't look at yourself in that mirror and believe in yourself and be proud of yourself and know that victory, true victory, has yet to come and you have just begun, Father God, you ain't receive anything. So that is the biggest blessing and that's the biggest lesson father god continue to give us more and more and more father god so that we can receive more father god give us guidance for the sign of virgo for february 2021 father god we're here to have fun oh the blessings have just begun give us guidance amen amen and amen inshallah come on all right let me take a little sip Woo! yes ma'am let's get into this here what we got going for my Virgos for February? For February. What we got? Virgo. What's the word? Yep. Alright, one more. Alright, give me guidance for Virgo for February. One card, please. What is this? Compassion. Ooh. Compassion. Mm. You being compassionate, Virgo? Okay. <laughs> I'm reloaded, honey. Let's see what we got. It says, as you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born. Drawing new people and experiences. Dear, oh, dear Lord, help me <laughs> feel ever deepening self-acceptance. Remember, I was talking about that. May I see myself as you see me. Remember I was saying something about looking at yourself in the mirror. Being proud of yourself. Loving yourself. And believing in yourself. And achieving within yourself. Amen. In the glory. They don't know our story. Now come on now. God is opening up the door for a lot of new people. A lot of new experiences. Show compassion to yourself. And you'll be able to show it to others as they are greeting you. There will be a lot of new people that you are going to be very blessed to have been brought into your life. 
And if you didn't look at yourself in the mirror, and if you didn't love yourself, you wouldn't have been able to see him. Oh, okay. Good gracious. Good gracious. So let's see what we got here. We got the Queen of Emotions here. Very beautiful indeed, Miss Queen of Emotions. Alright, so we got the sun in the reverse. We have the page of materials in the reverse. So we got the ten of voices. The knight of material. And the knight of inspiration. So, hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Virgo. So, it seems like here, I feel like you guys are like having to accept something. Um, I want to say something didn't go your way. You're having to kind of set a boundary with someone, but at the same time, Show people compassion as well. So with this queen of emotions here. It's like. Being able to see things for what it is. But at the same time. Still being unmoved. Still keeping yourself assertive. Still being balanced. Still feeling that love. Like regardless. Um, it looks like here with the sun and the page of materials in the reverse, it could have been something that you did not see. It could have taken you a long time to see it. Um, but at the same time, day to day, you're maturing. Like with the sun in the reverse, that represents someone not being naive, someone not being green, someone uh, that understands that the sun doesn't shine all of the time. And not everything that you want that you can have with that page in the reverse. So, this is someone that, um, it's like regardless of the situation, I want to say can swallow a, old, uh, a whole, uh, a, a old and a whole pill. So, this may be an old situation that, if, like, it's like it's just not growing, it's been out of balance. Um, Regardless of how many times you kind of try to go back and work things out and replan and replant this thing. It's like the sun for what I don't know if it's like the season is just not right because there's something about it's like replanting or just like revaluating something and trying it again and trying it again. But it's like the universe isn't cooperating with you. It's like you may have studied on how to replant, but you can't control the weather. You know, so it's like it could have been like a real bad rainy season. So as much as you wanted it to grow, the elements around you did not support the dream. Do you get me? It's like the elements didn't support the dream. like trying to plant something but it was it was no sun it was like day to day to day it wasn't any sun to support the growth of the situation the ten of um swords here so it's like it's something's killed your inspiration it's like you're no longer inspired you're no longer moved to do this it's like you could have quit you kind of you could have given up it's like I've given too many chances. I've maneuvered around too many different ways to try to operate this, to make this better, to work this out. But it's like still my all my hopes, all of my efforts have just been shattered. So it's like I'm deciding not to give to it anymore. Like the night of materials is someone that only gives their resources and their energies to things that they know is going to last in the long run. And this is showing like the universe is like the sun wouldn't even come to shine out on this. So it's like I cannot continue to give my efforts towards something that 
it's not going to like show up for me and that everything it's like everything around it has been preparing me to just like step aside and just let it go um, I'm not receiving any happiness from this so like this is like I don't know if it's like someone could have given you like some bad information and and it was like uh like it's like a bad forecast prediction or something. Like they could have said like this week it's going to be all sunny, high temperatures at 85, you know, it's like all of this good stuff and then you planned a party or you it yeah it's like it's something new that you could have tried to plan try to bring bring together or some things like everyone's going to celebrate have fun and it's just like it completely rained on your party and just shit it on all your plans and it's like you didn't have a backup plan so it was like everything that you tried to put your efforts in it just like didn't work out it's like you could not control the weather and it's like your plans did not make room for weather changes. Do you understand? So it's like instead of sitting up there feeling so destroyed about something, knowing when to put all of your shit down and just walk away and just not giving to it like not not even giving your thoughts to the shit just like accepting kind of defeat like okay i failed at this you know what i'm saying it's cool you know what i'm saying it's no point of me being upset about it so and again it's like placing boundaries with yourself as well as my, you know how you are kind of beating yourself up but like don't feel like a failure that's why it's like Controlling your emotions and understanding that, listen, that was just one bridge that I have to cross. Now I know to make plans for weather changes. Like, it's no point of me sitting up there focusing on my failures. I still have enough to give to something. You know? I can make arrangements and secondary plans so that shit like this don't happen again. It's just I learned how to pr protect myself now. I have a protection plan together now. So it's just, it's no point of me sitting up there. It's like showing compassion to yourself um, about something that didn't, it's like I'll cross, something about crossing some bridge when you get there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, This shit is done. It's over with. It's time to mature and replan. Now I have to go back with a different strategy. I need to prepare for shit that I cannot um, change. Or I don't have any manipulation over. You cannot manipulate the weather. So I need to prepare my strategy for that. Ain't no <laughs> need to be all broken up inside about it. If you are, cut that out of your life and move on to something that you can, like, healthily put your energy to. If it's something that just because something don't work out, you're going to be all destroyed about it. You don't need to be doing that. And you need to set boundaries with yourself and recognize if this is, if it's something that, yeah, I mean, just bottom line. Like, that's, that's the only thing I can say. It's like someone needing to set boundaries with yourself. Like, let it go. It's over. Replan and focus your energy on something else. Don't give to your mistakes. Be compassionate with yourself. Let me guide us in love for Virgo. What's this, um, Gala Dali? I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly. What is all of this? This is a strange little picture. Who the hell is this lady? 
It says, everything in love is invention. Create, soar over the ordinary. It is by meaning in the shadow that one emanates the most light. Be immortal rather than available. Ooh. Look at this picture. Isn't this picture strange as hell? You see like the elephants in this man's head right there and the clock melting and isn't this peculiar? I don't even know who this lady is. Y'all know who she is? I don't even know if I say her name right. Y'all forgive me if I didn't say her name right. I'm really going to have to look her up. I don't know why I'm getting the oddball. Like, she's just like the oddball. And she's the one to oddball things for a minute before she does something. I don't know. It's like something about the oddball. And I don't even, I'm just now realizing these balls behind her, too. I don't know why I'm saying like the oddball. The oddball. The oddball. The fucking eyeball. Hmm. Everything in love is invention. Create, soar over the ordinary. It is by being in the shadow that one emanates, emits the most light. Be immortal rather than available. I don't know why I want to say it's something strange and peculiar about you but I want to say that that kind of what makes you shine it's like you're the eyeball out of the bunch you're the one that I don't know it's like everyone can have one the same clothes but you will always find some way to wear it different it's like some it's a lobster on top of this lady's phone bruh and it's like all oh, this type of weird shit it is some weird shit going on here on this thing it's like I don't know they're saying like it's like you create like your own strange definition of love you know your own way of communication. This is just like it makes sense to you. Doesn't matter if it makes sense to anyone else. You got the soulmate in the reverse. And I like you. I hate reading these cards in the reverse. But I be having to though. I really do have to. It's something here about. Um, I want to say like it's an odd and strange and peculiar situation that you've dealt yourself in in love. Um, it's a very odd and peculiar little plate of food here. It's like nothing goes together. Like nothing goes together here. And then you got the kisses that just fell out on the floor. And that was in the upright. Then you got the kisses here. I want to say like you may be in a match with someone. It's like you know it's not your perfect mate. You know it's not your soulmate. I don't even think that you even like this person. But I want to say that you still deal with them. It's just like an odd and strange fucking situation. You see like how the, the clock has melted over. You see how the clock is melted over right here? So I want to say like this is this, 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 like the situation is long overdue. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Do you see like this little um elephant down here with this, the little straw growing out of it? I don't know why I'm getting like a chia pet. It's like you just, you, you just kind of water the situation a lot and... Hope that you get luck out of it. And it just uh, hope that it grows. It's like kissing. Kissing your wounds or something. Because I don't know. Now they're saying. Ch -ch 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 -chia. I don't know. I'm getting chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
because you know elephants represents like good luck and blessings and stuff like that i don't know why i'm getting like an elephant chia pet that someone has and they keep it's like they're watering this plant and they're hoping that they it brings it blessings or something like that but i don't know it's like an odd strange situation i don't even feel like you like this person you definitely don't love this person but it's like you may still enjoy the kisses or something it's like you may, you're just in it for the affection or something. Oh, God. And then with the lobster sitting over top of the phone, I feel like expensive conversations or something. It's like, why am I getting expensive conversations? I don't know. It's like, is, is it like you pay every time you have to talk to someone or something? It's like. Um, God, why am I getting this? Or it's like, I don't know, it's like every time you talk to this person, they're talking about food or something like that. I don't know. It's like every time this person calls you, it's like, I don't know, they want food and expensive food too. Like some expensive, extravagant fucking food. It's like someone always wants some type of food. That's why I say be immortal rather than available. It's it's like through the shadows where people emit the most light. It's like so this strange little creation of love or I don't know what the fuck this is. Like this is weird. I don't even think y'all like each other. It's fucking weird. It's just weird. Um it's fucking weird. That's why it's like with the Queen of Emotions and the Nine of Inspiration. That Nine of Wands is like standing up for yourself and setting boundaries like you're not happy. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you want to work out, whatever type of fun is that you're trying to create out of the situation, it's not happening. It's not growing. It's like the universe is not supporting it. It's like... The elements is not supporting this plan. Like you, like, why are you keep trying to kiss and make up? You don't like each other. Like, this is like, <laughs> like, and then you wonder why shit is just like so bad and you're dealing with all, cause shit is not supposed to work out. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like you, it's like, Please be compassionate to yourself and your thoughts and, and what you're inventing, what you're creating. Because I don't know why I feel like it's people. It's a strange little fucking situation. It's like the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know if you guys stay with each other because you need each other financially or something like that. It's like some. It's like I don't know. It's like I don't even fucking like you. It's like, but it's like y'all deal with each other because some type of financial shit. It's like you can't take care of yourself by yourself. It could have to be. I don't think y'all like each other. Y'all do not fuck with each other like that. It's like either you're staying with each other is ever because financially you can't do it by yourself. And it's like you want to have like this peaceful family and it's like it's like fine it's like either financially you feel like if you're not it's like if you don't have kids with this person but you have kids it could be a situation where you're doing the best that you have to do for your family. Because it's like you may not be able to take care of yourself by yourself. So you may be in a situation with someone that is not your soulmate. But it helps you be able to take care of your family. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, So say like this is someone. Say that this is a female in a relationship that she don't like the person is not her soulmate it's nothing like that but this person helps her pay the bills so she's like putting up with the shit and doing the best that she got to do for her kids like this may not be her kid's father or nothing like that like no matter how much 
work that she's trying to put into this is just like I just got to do until I can take care of my self by myself like I'm just gonna have to kiss and make up with this motherfucker and think like I like you like <laughs> the princess of pen oh cop then you got the nine of wands again you got the nine of wands again so it's like and then and then you got the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck so oh gosh so Virgo you got the page of pentacles um I want to say it's like some type of form of rejection here it's like it's like you're well educated and you're you're well educated um but it's like you're adapting yourself to a situation where um it's like people trying to tell you that you're not suitable for something. It's like this person feels trapped. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like they're having to put up with something and set a boundary where it's like I know I got to deal with this situation and I have to, it's like having to learn a new way to defend yourself when you're in a fucked up situation. Does that make any sense? Because the page of pentacles in the reverse is like, okay, you're not allowing me to do this. So if you're if you're not allowing me to do this, then I need to set this boundary with you because clearly I still got to deal with you anyway. And something, you know what I'm saying? Because this eight of this eight of swords is like it's like the pain of knowing that you still have to be involved with a situation. And it bothers you because it's like you can't get out of it. You know what I'm saying? But I have to set my boundaries because if you're not going to give me this, then I need to set a boundary with you as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I hope what I'm saying is making sense. It's making sense to me. So there's a form of rejection in regards to, all right, I see that we're not going to be, is this like an open relationship or some shit like that? It's like things are not going to work between me and you. But I still got to deal with your ass because I still got to take care of my kids. I still have to take care of my family or whatever the situation is. Me nor you can make it by our own or, or by ourselves. It's easier if we just put the bill together and I just set a boundary with you. You date who you want and do your thing over there. I'm going to do what I want to do over here. We're going to set this boundary you ain't going to be disrespecting, though. You're not going to be disrespectful. But as long as I can still do what I got to do so I can take care of my kids, you know, again, it's like knowing that this isn't your soulmate and it's like you're kind of stuck in a situation. But it's like, like you may be waiting to till the kids get grown before you like get out of this situation or something it's just like a very peculiar weird ass conversation it's very weird I don't know how you could do it and again it's a lot about setting boundaries and something not working out but not allowing it to destroy you you know like if it's not going to work out stop putting your energy into it but it's like you have to because there's no way for you to do it on your own. So it's just better. That it just works out this way. And I got to think like I'm happy for my kids. And I got to put up with this for my kids. It's like. I wish I would have seen this earlier. It's like I wouldn't have created this space. But it's too late now almost. Everything in love is an invention. Create 
soar over the ordinary. So no matter how strange and peculiar your situation is, it's like try to find a way to make the best out of it. I want to say you're in a very fucking odd situation. And I want to say you could be eyeballing something. Because there's something here about... I really do feel like if this person could figure out a way... If they could figure out a way to take care of their kids and not be in this odd-ass situation where there's no love. No love at all. And it's just... It's finances. If it was, if, if if the finances was a little bit better, I can't even say that I really think that this person will walk away and leave because it's still some type of codependent as I don't like you, but I don't know how to walk away from you because it's like I need you, weird ass type of shit. I I, I don't I don't know. Y'all explain this shit to me because it's like. How can you not be happy and you know this is not the one for you? But it's like you got some like little strange hope or luck or I don't know if you got like some type of luck emblem or something that you water and you're feeding every day. It's like you're trying to, I don't know, bruh. It's like some weird ass, there's just like. My elephant right there, if I just, if it was like a chia pet or something, and it's like, I am, like, as I'm pouring the water into it, it's just like, I'm praying to the elephant, like, please bring me luck, or, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, you're watering, and you're praying over this fucked up ass situation, and you're just trying to give compassion and hope and prayers to it. That it'll grow and it'll work out and shit. But you're still not happy. But it's like. Oh I'm doing it for my family. Uh, just help me be able to set boundaries. When I'm not satisfied and I'm not happy. And you know hopefully one day. That the finances will turn around. And I can do better. I still don't. I feel, I feel like if the finances was turned around. They feel like if the finances was to turn around. I feel, still feel like that they would want to leave, but they still wouldn't leave. I'm telling you, this person still wouldn't fucking leave. It's something why this person just will not leave the situation. I gotta go. I'm done. Bye.